So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get Windows 10 to start up with RetroArch so you could turn uh, Windows a Windows 7 based computer up to a Windows 10 based computer to start up with RetroArch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, first locate where your RetroArch files are. So mine is right here. So this is an exe file for it. As you can see, that's a .exe file for RetroArch. That's the executable file, so I'm going to create a shortcut for it. And I'm going to put that in the desktop, like that, like so. And then close. I'm just going to delete that because I don't want the shortcut in the folder. Okay, good. Now you type uh, Windows R. And you get this and you just type in the following it's shell colon startup start and this is what's going to start up when Windows starts up so if you put any executable file and make a shortcut of it it's gonna start the program here when Windows starts up so now it's done so I'm gonna just restart Windows. And RetroArch should start up when I log into Windows. It's turning my computer into a RetroArch PC. Okay, I'm going to log into Windows and RetroArch should just start right up when I enter it. So starting up the programs, I'm not uh, starting up anything manually. You see, RetroArch just started up just like that. So now it's essentially a RetroArch PC, and I could uh, run any emulator I want from here. I'm going to load a core. Okay, and I'm going to start. I just press S to search for a game, and I'm going to enter, just click into that, and run. Now this is essentially a RetroArch PC. It's kind of like RetroPie, except it's RetroArch. So I'm going to get out of here, press, F, press the F1 key to get out, and if I want to get out of here, it's simple. I could just go back to my Windows desktop by pressing escape and then press escape again to get out. So this is a, you could do this with an old computer and uh, this is pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, you could do this with an old computer. Let's say you have a useless uh, Windows 7 uh, a computer with Windows 7 on it, maybe with a i3 um, processor, a first generation, you could turn it into a RetroArch PC, or maybe you may have a i7-920, which is probably obsolete in this day and age, you, uh, but you may have a good graphics card in there, like a GeForce 
GTX 260 or something, you could turn it into a pretty good uh, retro computer by doing this. So anyways, thanks for watching by Ace 1000KS1975 signing out.